Hello everyone, now let us discuss about Anatomy of Nervous System Part 1. So, first of all, coming to nervous system. With a mass of 2 kg and about 3% of the total body weight. The nervous system is one of the smallest and yet most complex of the 11 body systems. And nervous system is broadly categorized into two types. Central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Coming to central nervous system, central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord and the brain is located in the skull and contains about 100 billion neurons. A brain contains about 100 billion neurons. The spinal cord is connected to the brain through foramen magnum of the occipital bone and is encircled by the bones of vertebral cord. Spinal cord contains around 100 million neurons. Brain contains around 100 billion neurons, whereas spinal cord contains around 100 million neurons. And the CNA serves as a source of thoughts, emotions and memories. And most signals that stimulate muscles to contract and glands to secrete originate in the CNA. Coming to peripheral nervous system. The PNS consists of all nervous tissue outside the central nervous system. Peripheral nervous system consists of all nervous tissue outside the central nervous system. Coming to the components of peripheral nervous system, there are mainly four components. Nerves, ganglia, enteric plexus, sensory receptors. When it comes to nerves, there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves and 31 pairs of spinal nerves. Now coming to the components of peripheral nervous system. Nerves. First coming to nerves. A nerve is a bundle of hundreds to thousands of axons plus associated connective tissue and blood vessels that lie outside the brain and spinal cord. Each nerve follows a defined path and serves a specific region of the body. Next is ganglion. Ganglion is nothing but a small masses of nerve tissue. Ganglion is nothing but small masses of nerve tissue consisting primarily of neuron cell bodies that are located outside of the brain and spinal cord. The ganglia are closely associated with cranial and spinal nerves. The next is enteric plexus. They are extensive network of neurons that are located in the walls of the organs of the gastrointestinal tract. Enteric is nothing but intestine. So they are extensive network of neurons that are located in the walls of the organs of the gastrointestinal tract. The neurons of these plexus help regulate the digestive system. The next are sensory receptors. They are a structure in nervous system that monitor the changes in the external and internal en environment. Examples of sensory receptors include touch receptors in skin, photoreceptors in the eye and olfactory receptors in the nose. Now coming to the division of peripheral nervous system. It is broadly divided into three types. Somatic nervous system, autonomic nervous system and enteric nervous system. In some cases, enteric nervous system is considered a part of autonomic nervous system. So, somatic nervous system, soma means body. Autonomic nervous system, auto means self. That is, it is mostly involuntary. Enteric nervous system, enteric means intestine. Enteric nervous system governs the digestive system. Now, coming to somatic nervous system. So, in each nervous system, there are mainly two types of neurons which govern the function, sensory neurons and motor neurons. When it comes to sensory neurons of somatic nervous system, they convey the information from the somatic receptors in the head, body wall and limbs and from receptors of special senses of vision, hearing, taste and smell to the CNS. Simply, they convey the information from somatic receptors to the CNS. When it comes to motor neurons, they conduct impulses from CNS to skeletal muscle only and this action is mostly voluntary. Now coming to ANS. 
the sensory neurons of ans they convey information from autonomic sensory receptors located primarily in the visceral organs such as stomach and lungs to the cns the sensory neurons of ans they convey information from autonomic sensory receptors that are located primarily in the stomach and lungs when it comes to when it comes to motor neurons of ans here the action is involuntary they conduct impulses from cns to smooth muscle cardiac muscle and glands this is important the motor neurons of ans they conduct impulses from cns to smooth muscle cardiac muscle and glands and the motor neuron part of ans is divided into two types sympathetic division and parasympathetic division the sympathetic division it mainly deals with flight or fight responses whereas parasympathetic division it deals with rest or digest responses now coming to enteric nervous system the operations of ens which is the brain of the gut is involuntary once considered as a part of ans the ens consists of over 100 million neurons in the enteric plexus that extend most of the length of the gastrointestinal tract many neurons in the enteric plexus function independently of the ans and cns to some extent hence it is inappropriate to consider it as a part of ans so although they communicate with cns via the sympathetic and parasympathetic neurons coming to sensory neurons of ans they monitor the chemical changes in the gi tract as well as stretching of its wall when it comes to motor neurons of ens they govern the contractions of gi tract smooth muscle to propel food through the gi tract secretions of gi tract organs such as secretion of hcl acid from stomach and activity of gi tract endocrine cells which release hormones by this we complete all the divisions of nervous system Thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on anatomy and physiology